Welcome back, deep divers. We're going to dive deep into the scripture. Acts chapter 8, verse 36 and 37. Uh, this talks about the doctrine of baptism, the doctrine of salvation. A man's walking along with Philip and he says, well, here is some water. What's uh, to hinder me from being baptized? And Philip says, you can if you believe. And the man says, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Friends, we've got to be careful about the truth that we buy into. Do you know that many of these Bibles today, uh, they come with this marketing, uh, older and uh, better manuscripts. Many people have been deceived uh, by this. Friends, if you are carrying around a new Bible and you look at uh, chapter 8 in Acts, verse 36 and 37, and it's been removed or it's been changed or there's something in the side notes and the footnotes or uh, the side notes, footnotes, and center notes if you're a uh, New King James Bible believer. Wow. Uh, each coming from a different source. Uh, let's be careful. If there's something in there that says that that scripture does not belong, friends, we ought to be choosing a different Bible. Why? Because the very doctrine of salvation, the very doctrine of baptism, uh, does not belong in your Bible. The very idea of it is absurd. Friends, we need to be careful about the truth that we buy into. The Bible says in many places that we need to buy the truth and sell it not, that we need to take hold of truth and, uh, and cling thereto. Friends, we need to be careful. Uh, Bibles uh, have been changing for years, uh, working themselves away from the truth. The Word of God has been removed from our schools, from our courthouses, uh, from our very homes. The devil means to steal the Word of God from your heart. Friends, Let's buy the truth and sell it not. Let's believe in our hearts that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Let's trust in the doctrine of baptism. Otherwise, what are we doing? Thank you for tuning in, dear friends.